Welcome, Doer Doers. Recognition and feedback are key to keep employee commitment high. An effective appraisal and performance management process has a significant impact on a company. At Stealthy Wood, we think that ongoing discussions and feedback are key to our employees' motivation and performance. So we use Odoo's appraisal app to help us with the process. Appraisals provide the opportunity to recognize and reward employees and ensure they feel valued for their work. It's also a good time to discuss salaries, promotions, or bonuses. And of course, the company also benefits from appraisals. During the meetings, the employees will better understand how the individual objectives set for them will play a part in our business plan. It gives the employee a sense of ownership and helps empower them to achieve the results needed. It also is a great opportunity to provide them with new challenges. Regularly looking at performance lets you know when employees are ready to take on more responsibility. And for those who underperform, it's a good way to identify what additional training and support could be provided to let the employee achieve results they would be proud of. For companies like Stealthy Wood, where new responsibilities are created every day, we can't underestimate that. Simplifying the appraisal process helps us do more and make our employees feel better about their jobs. So let's see how this works in the Odoo Appraisal app. All right, here I am on my database. So let's go ahead and jump to the appraisal application. And from this app, we're going to go straight to configuration settings. And on the settings page, I'm actually going to either modify or activate a couple of things or a few things. OK, so the first uh, thing I'm going to do is set a minimum time and a maximum time between appraisals. OK, so I'm going to specify um, when an employee or a manager can go ahead and request an appraisal. So I say minimum six months. So I want want there to be at least six months um, between the requested appraisal or when they can request an appraisal from the last appraisal or when they arrived. Okay, so there at least needs to be six months between, but they can't go longer than 18 months. So there should be at least one appraisal every 18 months. And then I've also activated this option reminders so I can go ahead and send email reminders automatically to either my employees or my managers. So let's go ahead and click on appraisal reminders right here. Okay, you're going to see that I have three set up already. So I have two for my managers and one for the employee. Okay, so for my managers, I say that I want them to um, be reminded six months after the arrival of a new employee um, and then 12 months after the last appraisal. Now, we know that um, the maximum they should go is 18 months. So if I send them a reminder at 12 months, they still have a few months to get organized and actually uh, schedule the appraisal. And then for the employee, I send them a reminder uh, seven months after the last appraisal saying, hey, it's not just the manager that has to request the appraisal, but you can do it too. And if we click on one of these and edit, we can decide who we notify. We can say when, uh, how many months after either the last appraisal or after the arrival date. And then, of course, we can modify um, the message as well. We can add the subject and the body um, and we can edit the text with the text editor. OK, but let's jump back to the settings. And I can also, from the settings page, I can also um, set some default appraisal participants. Okay, so of course I have managers and employees selected. Um, and then below, I'm actually going to be able to have um, kind of a generic default message that is sent to this person, which I can modify based on the position. So for example, if I want to add collaborators and colleagues, I'm going to have two new text boxes that I can modify. Okay, I might not want it to be, I might uh, not want that as generic for for all positions, but um, tailored a bit, okay? But uh, I actually have this the way that I would like. So I say an appraisal was requested and I will also give them a link to the performance appraisal form. Um, we can also use survey for that, okay? Um, so I'm happy with my settings for now. So let's go ahead and discard the changes that I made. Um, and then I'm going to uh, leave the settings the way that they were. And we're going to see how this works. So, of course, I can create a new appraisal from the appraisal app simply by clicking on create. But something else that's cool is I can also create it um, from the employees app as well. So perhaps I'm going um, to employees. I'm checking out um, one of my employees, Jeffrey. 
Okay. And I, maybe I noticed that it's been a while, um, since his last appraisal, or I think it would be good if we had a, a conversation. So I would like to request an appraisal. I can do that directly from, um, his employee page. So I can click on the request appraisal button right here. Um, and then of course I will add the recipient. So let's add his email. Okay. And then we'll be able to send the request and he can click on the appraisal here. Okay, and before I do that, of course, I need the desired deadline. So I'm going to give a few weeks um, before this is necessary. I want us to be able to really work out our schedules, not feel under pressure, and be able to fill out the appraisal form, everything that's needed. So I'm gonna send the request. Okay, and once the request is sent, I'm actually gonna be redirected to the new appraisal, which I can modify. So I can click on edit. Of course, I have my employee um, and the manager. Okay, I can add multiple managers if I need to. Um, I can also add subordinates or colleagues. Okay, um, I can add the appraisal deadline and I can change the company if it's necessary, but Jeffrey works for Sellywood USA, so I don't need to change that. And then I can decide who I'm going to mail. So I'm gonna send an email to the employee and also the manager. Okay, if I choose, um, manager subordinates or colleagues i of course need to have some people selected here or no one will receive the email okay um and then i'm also going to be able to modify the specific messages uh, right here from his um appraisal form okay because since i know that this appraisal is for jeffrey i might want to customize it or personalize it a little bit so we we saw that we were able to um, create kind of a generic message from the settings but here i can really uh personalize it, um, add some additional information, whatever I would like, because each person is different. And uh, sometimes it's good to um, personalize things and show that they're not just one of many in a crowd. Okay, so let's save this. And then we're going to click on confirm appraisal and send forms. Now, once we do that, we're going to see that the stage changes from to start to appraisal sent. Okay, and then below, I'm going to see that I need to uh, fill out the appraisal form for Jeffrey. I, of course, can mark this as done. Okay, we're also going to notice that uh, from Jesse, Jeffrey's employee page, we have that next appraisal date, um, which is the um, date that I set when I requested the appraisal, so the 19th of February. And from his employee page, I can easily access it here, or of course, I can access all of the appraisals um, from the appraisal application. Okay, so here I have um, just my dashboard view of the appraisals that are going on. Um, so I can see uh, the, all the deadlines and I can also see if I actually need to schedule uh, a meeting for um, one of my employees. So as you just saw, I went ahead and I filled out the appraisal form for Jeffrey, but I haven't actually scheduled the face to face. So I'm going to do that right now. And from the dashboard view, all I have to do is click on this button right here and then I'll be redirected to the calendar where I can create that meeting. Okay, I'm going to add a summary. I'm just going to say have uh, having a face to face interview is the best way of uh, getting everything out of the appraisal process. And then I'm going to create and I'm going to change the time by dragging and dropping a bit. Okay, it's, it's quite long. All right, and it starts very early in the morning, but we're gonna leave it like that. Okay, and then when I go back to the appraisal, I see I no longer need to schedule the meeting. Um, and then I'll have that meeting also on accessible on the appraisal form as well, which is super convenient. Okay. And then I see I have a to do for myself. I have the meeting um, with Jeffrey. So let's go ahead and mark this done. Uh, let's say I have already had the meeting. Okay. And then we can mark the appraisal done as well. And the status will change from appraisal sent to appraisal done. Okay, so we've completed the whole flow. As you can see, it's so easy for um, either a manager or an employee to request an appraisal because again, it's important that uh, you're both on the same page and, and you have a constant um, evaluation of what's going on. Something else that's cool here though, before we move on, this is how we create an appraisal for an employee, but we also would like to have some reports on this. So of course we have a reporting section for this application as well. So I can click on reporting 
And it's really cool because I can actually have a, a full overview of all of the appraisals that I have going on. So here I'm seeing it by department and I also have my employees here. Now I don't have very much data, so it was also easy to see that from my dashboard view, but if I have a ton of employees, this reporting section um, really comes in handy. Um, and then we have different views as well, such as our calendar view, our graph view, and our pivot view. Okay, and then you can change um, if you are looking by day, week, or month. Um, and we can also group by different things. So I had that grouped by department, um, but I can also group by status or employee. And then I have my filters as well. Okay, so if I click on done, let's go to the year. I see that I have uh, done two appraisals this year. Okay, it's only January, post. <laughs> it's okay. Um, and then I can check on the appraisals that are sent, which are done, and one that is to start. Okay, so I can really get a really good view of everything that's going on and, and who I need to review. That's all for this video. Thank you for watching. And if I don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night.